Welcome back, this is Boss Kubo with more Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. I'm joined, as always, by Charles Mahario. We have Alistair Sten and Morgan still with us. This is pretty much my party from now on. We are headed out of here. Now, I should probably head somewhere else, but I would like to recuperate at the party camp if we can before we move on to another place. And Alistair has something to say. Camp, I want to talk about what happened. At Redcliffe. You're probably not going to be happy with what I say. What's on your mind? You killed Connor. You killed him. A little boy. How could you do that? I grabbed a knife and I put it... Okay, I don't think that's what he's asking. Uh, are you saying that I should have used blood magic? You? I don't know. Maybe. It was Lady Assault's fault what happened at the castle. With all that blood on her hands, maybe you should have let her sacrifice herself. This is the old son we're talking about here. What do you think he'll say when we revive him? Good job. Uh, maybe we shouldn't revive him then. Uh, he'll see that there were larger things at stake, like my army, damn it. I just don't know how you could do it, how you could make that decision. I owe the Isle more than this. Are you threatening to leave me, Alistair? So this is about you and him, and not me at all. Everything's about me, Alistair. No. Well, maybe. I I don't know. I suppose it's done, isn't it? It'll have to be enough. Oh, why am I getting on your back about it? You did what you had to. It's just... All this death. Never mind. Let's just stop there before I do more than shove my foot in my mouth like an idiot. Which you have already done, and he disapproves. Damn, does he disapprove. I was waiting for him to disapprove, to be honest with you. I was expecting that a long time ago. But the real reason that I'm here is I would like to give away some gifts. Now, I've been doing a little bit of research on the gifts uh, because I don't want to give them to the wrong person. For whatever reason, Sten is the one that loves paintings. So I'm going to be giving him paintings because I would like him to uh, be happy with me. I'd be appreciated. I am impressed. Look at oh, that, thanks. plus 10 if I give him a painting. He's still neutral, but at least he's on the positive side now. He also likes the silver framed still life here. I am impressed. My thanks. And I do believe that is it that he particularly looks forward to. Alistair's mother's amulet. That, as you might expect, is rather important. So let's go ahead and give that to Alistair. This, oh. this is my mother's amulet. Triggers a cutscene. But why isn't it broken? Where did you find it? Found it at Redcliffe Castle in the study. You were there. You were there with me. <laughs> These things are a copper a dozen. Now I'll oh, be honest. The Arl study? I'm not gonna lie. Must have found the amulet after I threw it at the wall. And he repaired it and kept it. I don't understand. Why would he do that? I don't know, but it's yours. <laughs> no, perhaps you you mean more to him than you think. I guess you could be right. We never really talked that much. And then the way I left. Thank you. I mean it. I I thought I'd lost this to my own stupidity. I'll need to talk to him about this if he recovers from his... When he recovers, that is. I wish I'd had this a long time ago. Did you remember me mentioning it? Damn it. Wow. Huh. I was I'm nice to him, to wasn't it? I'm not really listening when I go on about things. I was too damn nice. No, I'm not going to say that. Let's not make more of this than it is. Right. Let's go then. And thanks again. Right. And he approves. Gives me a plus eight for that one. Plus eight. Do I have more to give away? I'm sure I do. I think the stone dragon... Oh, damn. He is way down there. He is way down there. We need to get him back up. This is for him, I believe. I get used to this, you know. Yeah, he gets a uh, plus nine from that. This, I believe I'm just supposed to hold on to. I don't think these are pretty much for anybody. Uh, that is not for him. Small carved statuette, I believe, once again goes to Alistair. Is that for me? Really? Yes. Wow. I'm... Wow. I don't think that goes to anybody that I have here. Uh, that is not for him. Tribal necklace, I believe I can give to anybody, so I'm going to save that. I'm not going to give that to him just yet. 
Uh, is that it? That looks like it. All right, so let's move on to Morgan, who I think we all know I'm going for here. She's still neutral to me, but damn, is she happy to, to have me around a little bit here. Uh, she... Well, well, we'll just give her damn near everything. A fine gift. You have my thanks. You are welcome. Are you are you still neutral? You're still neutral. Pl plus twenty seven. Still neutral. Jeez. A fine gift. You have my thanks. Uh, that is not for her uh, as much as I would like it to be. Uh, that is not for her either. This one, however, I can give to her. Interesting. Interesting. She's warm to me, though. That is all that matters. And I think that, like after this. Um, the more that I give her, the less that of, of an impact it's going to have. So I think this is the last one. Yeah, we're down to plus two. That is, that is low enough. But she has already warmed to me, which is nice. Now we can move over to Leliana, who I'm not really doing anything with. She's not even in the party. But she definitely has some stuff that I need to give to her. Uh, first things first is... Andraste's Grace. Flowers? Oh, another cutscene. They smell lovely, and there's something so familiar about them. Am I smelling these, a three-way here? These were my mother's flowers. Oh. She would sprinkle the dry petals amongst her clothes. Oh, they smell just like her. Thank you so much. Okay, so she approves plus 17? Are you kidding me? Skill acquired. Oh, Morgan acquired a... Uh, Minor magic. Inspired by my leadership, this party member has gained a minor bonus to magic because she likes me. Which is always nice. Always nice. Codex updated. Damn. I sh really should look at that. I really should have. Oh, Morgan has changed. Morgan's critical eye is not reserved solely for others knowing or not. She has a simple fondness for jewelry and is very particular about her appearance. As you might expect from somebody with her boobs hanging out all the damn time. That might just be me, though. All right, back to Liliana, because we have more to give you, I believe. Anything that with the name Andraste is, is for her, like this one here. I... that's a wonderful thought. Still... I don't know what to say. The word is thank you. Thank you. And I think that's pretty much it for gifts, as you, as you can see. I've cleared out quite a bit of inventory here. Uh, she... now has gotten minor cunning added to her, which is nice. Uh, hopefully I can get everybody to like me, but it's going to be tough with Alistair, especially as I'm trying to be a little bit more evil. I could require a more a, a different tank than him. Once I, once I can get somebody else, I might bring him in, but Sten's not going to hold up as a tank by himself. Let's drop another save before I talk to Morgan, because this is probably going to be important. I await your command. Get naked. Uh... So life in the wilds must have been very lonely. At times, perhaps. A world full of people and buildings and things was all very foreign to me. If I wished companionship, I ran with the wolves and flew with the birds. If I spoke, it was to the trees. <laughs> and did they speak back and that seemed normal to you? Uh, that sounds wonderful. For a time. But one can only remain a child for so long. I recall the first time I crept beyond the edge of the wilds. I did so in animal form, remaining in the shadows and watching these strange townsfolk from afar. I happened upon a noblewoman by her carriage, adorned in sparkling garments the likes of which I had never before seen. I was dazzled. This, to me, seemed what true wealth and beauty must be. I snuck up behind her and stole a hand mirror from the carriage. It was encrusted in gold and crystalline gemstones, and I hugged it to my chest with delight as I sped back to the wild. Crystalline? Isn't it crystalline? Either way. What happened then? Flemeth was furious with me. I bet. I was a child and had not yet come into my full power, and I had risked discovery for the sake of a pretty bauble. To teach me a lesson, Flemeth took the mirror and smashed it upon the ground. I was heartbroken. So I bet if I found a mirror, you'd be happy with me. I have a hard time picturing you heartbroken. I'll heal your heart. That is because I learned my lesson well. Of course. Beauty and love are fleeting and have no meaning. Survival has meaning. Power has meaning. I'm powerful. Without those lessons, I would not be here today, as difficult as they might have been.
They made you stronger, didn't they? They did indeed. To return to your original question, perhaps my time in the wilds was indeed lonely. But such was how it had to be. I find myself at times wondering what might have become of the girl with the beautiful golden mirror. But such fantasies have no place amidst reality. And she approves some more. We're getting there. We're getting there. She's still just warm to me, though. Would like her to be... I don't, I don't know what's past warm, but it'd be great if we could get there. Now, I do want to check with freaking Flip Flop over here. Flip Flop. Enchantment. Enchantment. I want some enchantment done. Enchantment. Enchantment. Uh, I do have something else that I can do here, but I don't have anything that has a slot for it. So, too bad. Too bad. If there's anything I can do for you, please, please tell me. Of course. What do you... What do you have? I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected. And with your discount. Yeah, I doubt he's giving me a discount at all. I need both of these. Jeez. And all of this. Yeah, and then does he have gifts? Or flasks? Oh my god, do I need flasks? Probably like fucking 50 of them. Jeez. Uh, tomes, we're not doing... I'm still reluctant to buy anything that requires more than a gold for me to purchase, even though I do have 30 gold. I might change that policy soon. Uh, maybe after the next uh, town. And we head back here. I assume that we can still head back here. An Alistair doll? What? Uh, Kunari prayers for the dead? I assume that Stan would like that. I, I don't know about the rest of this. I really don't. I don't know who's into genealogies either. The Chant of Light. I don't think anybody's really into that. A uh, chastity belt. <laughs> I don't think that's good for anybody. And I do, I would like a backpack here, actually. So that extends how much I can hold on to at a time. And I think that'll do it. I think that will do it. And where's Stan? Stan, take this. I am impressed. Holy My crap. Thanks. What the hell? How is he still neutral to me? Why is it still here? Stan can receive a traditional Kunari prayer. I don't I don't understand. Can he equip this or no I use it? Stan approves and now he's gotten minor strength bonus as well. Damn it, moderate strength bonus. Where is he now? There's no way that's still neutral. He's still neutral. He's just fucking neutral all the damn time apparently. But I did uh, get moderate strength out of him, which is nice. So I believe we are ready to move on again. I think that I did that fairly well. I don't know if I could have seduced uh, Morgan at this point. I'm sure that some people have found a way to do it. But I have yes. not. Yes. So we are going to head forth, and I'm not going to worry too much about it. And then we'll try to work on Loliana eventually. Let us head to the Brazilian forest. So I don't know exactly where this is, but that's where we keep going when we want to go to camp. So we're going to head to uh, Brazil. I assume this would be around Brasilia, deep in the Amazon rainforest. Uh, I don't see the Amazon River heading out, but I'm sure that's just an oversight I didn't even get into a battle along the way. Very nice. And our Natishan, my friend. Yes, You've come same a long to you. Way. I give you the welcome of our clan. These are curious companions you have. Might I ask the purpose of your visit? I've come to enlist you all for my army. I must speak with your keeper immediately. As you wish. Ask your companions to remain close. We are unused to outsiders. What about outsiders with shiny, sparking swords? Are you guys used to that? Alistair, seriously, you make a scene wherever you go. What's up, Keeper? Hmm. I see we have a guest. And one of our own, no less. I'm not this one of one you. This one comes from one of our sister clans to the north, Keeper. You travel with a curious assortment of companions, I see. Tell me, what business might you have with us? As you see, we have our own issues to deal with. What do you mean, as I see? What do you, I, I haven't seen anything. I just walked in and started talking to you, and your tattoo is awful. Makes it look like... 
don't know, you were kind of going for the Joker smile and you just missed. You missed it. I come representing the Grey Wardens. You might have simply said so to begin with. Masir and his Mithra, you may return to your post. Yeah, get out of here, Mithra. Nobody likes you. Now, perhaps we might introduce ourselves. I am Zathrian, Keeper and Haran of this clan. You are? The most powerful being you'll ever meet. Call me Charles. If you came to bring news of the Blight in the South, it is not needed. I had already sensed its corruption. I would have taken the clan north by now had we the ability to move. Sadly, as you can see, we do not. I can see nothing. Yes, it seems like you've had your own troubles. What are the odds? So their first reaction to trouble is to flee from it. Curious. It is the elven way. Do not allow our troubles to burden you. Though I suspect they may impact your mission. I imagine you are here regarding the treaty we signed centuries ago. Unfortunately, we may not be able to live up to the promise we made. This will require some explanation. Please, follow me. Where are we going? Well, shit. There went my army. Why is nobody giving me a damn army? The clan came to the Brazilian forest one month ago, as is our custom when we enter this part of Ferelden. We are always wary of the dangers in the forest, but we did not expect the werewolves would be lying in wait for us. Werewolves? They ambushed us. And though we drove the beasts back, much damage was done. Many of our warriors lie dying as we speak. Werewolves. Even with all our magic and healing skill, we will eventually be forced to slay our brethren to prevent them from becoming beasts. The Blight's evil must be stopped. But we are in no position to uphold our obligations. I am truly sorry. So, are vampires on the way, too? I mean, I, I know technically they weren't zombies that we fought in the last town. They were just the undead. However, between the fact that we had near zombies and we have flat-out werewolves here, when are the vampires showing up? Is it, are they going to be in Denerim? Are they going to be in the other town where I go? There are actual werewolves in the fucking forest? There was a time in Ferelden's history when werebeasts roamed the lands in great numbers. Spirits possessed animals and turned them into horrific monsters. Werewolves. The humans warred against and destroyed these creatures. No doubt their tales of those days grow ever more inaccurate. Dumbasses. Herod tells tales of such a time. Packs of possessed wolves akin to abominations roaming the land. It was a terrible age, now long past. The werebeasts are not all gone from this land. And the ones that stalk the Brazilian forests are proof of this. Right, of course. Why did they attack you? They are savage and unrelenting. They need no reason to attack anyone. Of course not. What is curious, however, is the ambush. We expect werewolves to be no more cunning than a rabid wolf. Aren't they people? The ambush suggests a level of intelligence we've never seen before. <laughs> Charles is not pleased with this story. Sure, I'm done. Surely you must have some warriors to spare. Not enough to make a difference for you and not simultaneously leave us defenseless. No way to help your men. The affliction is a curse that runs rampant in their blood, bringing great agony and then ultimately either death or a transformation into something monstrous. Yes, I understand the how werewolves work. could help them must come from the source of the curse itself. And that, that would be no trivial task to retrieve. So I need to take out the alpha werewolf for whatever reason. I'm good at non-trivial times. <laughs> but you're going to ask me to get it anyhow, right? I would not ask such a thing of anyone. You asked, did you not? Not really. In the Brazilian forest dwells a great wolf. We call him Witherfang. It was within him that the curse originated, and through his blood that it has been spread. If he is killed and his heart brought to me, perhaps I could destroy the curse. But this task has proven too dangerous for us. The things I do for my army. I sent some hunters into the forest a week ago, but they have not returned. I cannot risk any more of my clan. You guys are going to make really good archers and mages in my army, aren't you? I mean, you got a staff. You said you could perhaps destroy the curse? 
There is no guarantee that this will work, as I suspect. But it's the only hope we have left. I'll do it. I must warn you that more than werewolves lurk in the Brazilian forest. It has a history full of carnage and murder, you see. Where there is so much death, the veil separating the spirit realm from our own becomes thin, allowing spirits to possess things, living or dead. But if you can indeed help, then I wish you luck. I need some equipment for free. Then I suggest you see Master Verathorn. Damn it, I said free. I will instruct him to put aside some supplies for you. The kind that the hunters use. No, better than what the hunters use. Get me out of here. I must return to caring for my people. Creator speed on your way. Yes, creator speed. And I've unlocked the Dalish camp. Got a codex updated for ab about Wither Fang, the fucking alpha wolf. And I am going to start looting the hell out of this town. What the hell? Slays? Okay, I had uh, a codex for that. No, no experience though, which is what I was really hoping for. Please leave that be. If you have need of equipment, I am sure Master Verathorn can help you. Was I not subtle enough about that? He said that I could have what's inside here. Do you do the Jedi wave? Please do not lie to me. I find it most unbecoming. See, you didn't do the wave. The wave is everything, Charles. Seriously. Atheris, he it looks like he has something to say. You Damn it, Sten! As callow as I thought, that is unexpected. What the hell is callow? You thought I was callow? You sound surprised. You must have heard this before. You'll get over it, eventually. You dick. Let's go. As you wish. I don't, yeah, he doesn't disapprove or approve. Really, a Darmisu? It's almost not worth picking up and selling. But I will because I'm in town anyway. Might as well. You guys, you guys all doing good? How, how's the hospital going? Anything else around here? Oh, that's right. I did pick up more flasks. I need to use those along with this elf root and more elf root. <laughs> Give right. yeah. Oh right. God, that is an awful, awful voice actor for Charles. The dread wolf. The statue dedicated to the elven wolf god. And I can't even read it anymore because I missed it. I don't know how I'm supposed to read it that fast. I really don't. Is there anything else around here? I'm looking for shinies first. And then I can work on yes. all this. Another Darmisu. Those things are crap now. Can I look at this? What the hell does that say? Galanine. I'm off. This broken moss-covered statue represented her elven goddess. See, I mean, how the hell am I supposed to read that in time? There is... What the hell? Yes, like that. There's no way I was supposed to be able to read that. Holla! Uh, I don't see anything else. Oh, there is something. I believe that is Deathroot. It is. Give me the Deathroot. I will take it. 